What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and this is my Glock 26 with the Wheaton Arms Elite Trigger for Glocks. I love this trigger. I think I'm going to put it in my main everyday carry. Um, it's very light, has a very short reset. I wouldn't say it's lighter than a Johnny Glocks or shorter than a Johnny Glocks, but it feels more natural than a Johnny Glocks. It feels like a really good system. Like, I, I don't know how else to explain it. You know, same with the Apex. I really like the Apex trigger a lot. Um, because it just feels natural, it is much heavier though. The Wheaton Arms trigger gives you the natural, you know, trigger pull, very clean. Um, and like I was showing people with the penny drill, where you put the penny on your front sight and then pull the trigger, it was very easy to complete that training with this firearm. I rarely had that penny fall off while pulling that trigger. And that says a lot about the trigger. The Apex is heavier, but I do like the feel of it. So honestly, these are my two favorite triggers for Glocks for everyday carry. Um, obviously, the Apex I know a lot more about. I've shot a lot more rounds through an Apex. All my Apex triggers have been 100% reliable. I've shot less through the Sweeten Arms, but I've had zero issues. It, it functions perfectly. It's very accurate. Um, and then I like that it leaves more room, you know, in your trigger guard uh, for your gloves. You know, if you live in a cold area, it is a great trigger to have because you can fit that full glove in there versus something like Apex sort of crowds that. I mean, it's not a bad thing. You can still get a finger in there. But it's going to be much easier if you're wearing gloves and in cold state uh, to get your finger in that trigger guard with the Wheaton Arms trigger. So yeah, I really like it. So far, these are my top two favorite carry triggers. Um, the best overall trigger is the Johnny Glocks trigger. But for everyday carry, these are my go-tos. Thanks for watching.